Red Edition, welcome. Hey, I got news for you <laughs> from the right, from a right perspective at least. Let me start off with talking about some prairie prisons. This would be in Canada. Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba, there's nine prisons in total where they have inmates that uh, are put to work every year, this time of year, I guess, making poppies for Remembrance Day. Remembrance Day is a big deal, of course, in most countries, but certainly with regard to poppies, it's Canada, England, New Zealand, Australia, and a few others as well. Not too sure which ones, but I do know it's not in America. Hey, it could be a marketing opportunity here, don't you know? In any event, a lot of people are now saying, hey, these guys, they're going to be playing with these pins, they're going to hurt themselves or they're going to break out of jail or something. We're talking little pins that go in the end of a poppy, right? I think it's a darn good thing. They used to make license plates, and now they're making poppies. You have in Montreal politics a transsexual uh, prostitute who ran for public office. She wanted to be a counselor, or used to be a he, and now she's a she, and just don't get cute with money, so said they, and so she wasn't allowed to kind of get into the home stretch of it all because to fund everything she was out to, being a hooker, just got to do what she did. I'm getting too old for this stuff because it's kind of hard for me to imagine all of this. Hey, just saying. We have a family that was visiting their cancer-stricken cancer father at a hospital just on the Ontario side, Hall, Ontario. And an orderly there scolded them for not speaking French. Somebody should scold him with a two-by-six. <laughs> just, just saying. Statements made by politicians in the House of Commons in Canada, that would be in Ottawa, are not delivered under oath or anything resembling an oath, which is to say that they are allowed and often encouraged to not tell the truth, to be a liar. That's the deal. And they are not held accountable in any way, shape, or form. Worse, the press can actually report a whopper, any whopper that they hear, they can report as being a fact, a, as a fact. And most Canadians have heard many whoppers, and they don't even know that it's a whopper because, again, nobody's accountable. House of Commons? I don't know. How about House of Scoundrels? That's not very nice. From the uh, stupid criminal file following a hit and run, which a cyclist was injured, the sergeant in the uh, police department in California, he found a car four or five blocks away and had a bicycle embedded into the bumper. So he went up to the owner of the car before he could even open his mouth and say anything. The man jumped out of his car and says, hey, if you want to know about the cyclist, I never hit him. <laughs> okay, then. Nice going. There's a yacht that's owned by Las Vegas entertainer Wayne Newton, and recently it sank at a marina. Now, I kind of know about stuff like this. His yacht was a 65-foot vessel. I had a 40-foot one years ago, and I took it to a marina that could only, you know, it had the depth of water depth to handle this big boat I had and it was owned by Indians and they were working on it to winterize it one year and they didn't put all the equipment back together correctly and it sunk and it had lots of water damage and it was worth nothing I lost a couple of hundred thousand dollars well, that wasn't very nice even back then when I had lots of money but what happened is I went to him and said hey what are you gonna do about it and he said nothing I said, I might sue you. He says, have fun. I'm an Indian. And he says, uh, this is on reserve land, Indian land, so have a nice day. And he kind of walked away from me, and I got to lose, and he's probably still running his marina. Just, 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 just share. And you got a pastor here who pulled the gun recently on a man in uh, Indiana. He was in a store, and a man walked in with a gun, went up to the teller and said, give me all your money and get on the floor as well. I don't quite know how you'd give him your money when you're on the floor. The pastor went up and pulled his gun out, and he said, no, 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 you get on the floor, you bad guy. And he had a concealed permit. Good people do a lot of good things, and ain't that cool? You bet. Here's a joke to end the day. <laughs> are you ready? We got preachers with guns, and here we are now. We're going to talk about God. The children were lined up at a cafeteria of the, um, for lunch at the Catholic Elementary School. At the head of the table was a large pile of apples, and the nun had made a note, and she posted it on the apple tray. Take only one apple. God is watching. Moving further along the lunch line, at the other end of the table was a very large pile of chocolate chip cookies. A child had written a note here and said, take all you want. God's busy. He's watching the apples. <laughs> well, come back tomorrow. We're going to have more for you from the right. See ya.